Good morning, everybody. It's a good day. No matter what your circumstance is, we can say this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it by faith. Some of you are facing uh, trials and challenges in life. I know I have uh, faced several things that have happened. I've gotten bombarded with things that have crashed in my home and and. I, everything I can name, I, I can't even tell you how many things, but I keep thinking, you know, our faith is in God no matter what. And Paul went to prison. He went through, uh, as I did many times, uh, two or three times, for Christ's sake, in Turkey and in America, by standing up for truth not provoking it, not trying to make it happen, but by standing up and standing ground and being where I should be in obedience to the Lord. And God turned it around for wonderful purposes. Uh, so uh, no matter what your circumstance is, it may be physical, it may be mental, it may be emotional losses, uh, whatever it is, God is still on the throne and he is still the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, and he still loves you and he adores you and he wants the best for you and he wants to fill you today with everything that he created you to be and created you for at such a time as this. This is a dark time, my, my friends. These are times that we need to press in harder as the things get harder. I know there are times when I'm just so, uh, <clears throat> so much comes at me that... <clears throat> I just want to chill, I just sit down and not even open my Bible. But let me tell you, that's the time that we need to make ourselves obey by faith and press in and say, God, and, and, and normally always what I do is, truthfully, is go right to Jesus. I just, I just picture myself going before him, humbly saying, now, Jesus, you helped me through this. You <clears throat> you know everything. You are God, the Lord of Lords. You, you know everything. So can you just show me what to do? Can you just bring that joy back? Can you just bring that love back in my life <clears throat> for that person? Whatever it is that you're facing, um, I have had a lot of challenges too in my life, but what I want to get at today is I want to share a dream I had, and then I just want to encourage us about eternity and what is waiting for us. Heaven, it's real. It is alive. It's real. It's bright. It's light. But we have down here already with the, the veil was torn and Jesus paid the price. And so we have that excess to stand before God with authority, with humility, with authority, the fear of God, but the love of God, knowing that he has given us what he said he did when he left the earth, the keys to the kingdom. So let us um, stand knowing who we are with great, um, with great, hope and with great faith. I know that faith is so important to God for his children to have faith in him, not faith in ourselves. God gives us faith in the, ourselves and the things that we do because we're doing the things that God wants us to do. That is what's so important that we're going down that road that the Lord says go on and staying on it and not deviating and getting to the left or to the right. Now that might be in a home in Pakistan or a home in Saudi Arabia and you're in a situation, I'm using an example here of what could be and, and you would be beaten for your faith Use, God will give you all the wisdom and the grace and the mercy and the, and the strategies to get through that. The worst thing that can happen is that you will die and go to heaven. I mean, going to heaven, and that's one thing I want to share. I lost my husband four years ago, March 15th of this month, four years years ago exactly. And 
I still miss him so much. He was one of the lightest, brightest lights and stars of Jesus. And he brought the kingdom down here. That's what we're to do. And that's what I want to share with you. We are to bring the kingdom on earth. We are here, here now. We have gotten everything that we'll have in the kingdom. We, uh, we've gotten that by the what Jesus paid as far as kings and priests and, and ambassadors for the Lord. And we are, uh, there is nothing impossible with God. Absolutely nothing. So when we pray, we pray with faith. And I am, I am a prayer warrior. So I believe everybody should be praying. But I want to I want to share a dream I had, and that was about my husband. At Christmas, I got a great Christmas present, and it was um, I was entering into heaven, and it was so bright that it was amazing. And this was in a dream, and but I actually think that I went there because I think my spirit, God, took me there to comfort me. It was over Christmas. I was missing my my late husband, and it was joyous. It was just joyous because it was so bright, and he was standing there, and we ran to each other, and we kissed and kissed and kissed on the cheek, and it was so pure, and it was so happy and joyful, and I just, I, I can tell you just as if I was there right now in that, that place that I went, and my husband just, we just kept kissing each other on the cheek and saying, yes, this is, this is eternity. This is forever. This brightness, this love, the love is just, uh, it's just, it's something I can't explain to you unless you have that experience. You can't explain it. It's, it's just joy and love and kindness and goodness. And my husband was, um, real happy and we both knew and and I don't remember exactly the dialogue or if I was thinking but I remember it uh, saying oh yes it's going to be soon it's going to be really soon we're going to be together forever and um he was acknowledging that and and how happy he would be to see me forever and that we'd be there with Jesus and and um and I and I then acknowledged that I'm not it's not time for me yet so I've got to go back, and uh, I know that, but it was all joyous. He understood. I understood that he was there, and I was happy for him, and then I came back. I woke up, and I was so happy that I got to visit him. It was like, you know, he's been gone four years now. I miss him, Lord, and he let me go see him. He let me have a holy visitation, and it was real, and it was precious, and I can tell you that heaven is real and he wants us to, he wanted me back and I could go, you know, I, I know he would take me if it was my time to go, but it's not. He has something for me to do here still. I don't know how long, but all I know is that he has something for you to do if you're still on this, on planet earth. And he has a plan and a hope and a future. And no matter what state you're in, the devil wants to bring us down into chains in the mud. And I just pull out anybody right now by the blood of Jesus that is in stuck in that mire, that then in that uh that place that is not where Jesus wants, that the devil has you because you're You've lost hope, you've lost uh, feeling, and you feel like, you know, just everything is dark around you, but there's light. We are the lights. We are the stars. Jesus paid it all. We are here. We're, we're to bring that life in us, and, and the more we have faith in God, you know, it, oh, if we just have faith. Oh, if we just believe that Jesus is that alive every minute of every day, we will be conquerors and we will take back what Satan's stolen in this this earth. Because so there's so many deceptions and there's so many lies and I hate it. 
And if we're warriors and we pray and we speak that it will come down by the blood of Jesus and we speak and pro prophesy into it, but you can't do that unless you're born again, unless you yield your heart to completely love Jesus the rest of your life, life or death, no matter what happens. I never am mad at God. Um at what what he allows me to go through because I know I'm getting more prepared and it is creating character in me and all we want is to have character. We we really do just want character so that we can carry be carriers of that character with of course the power of God to use that authority in prayer to bring down the forces of evil by uh, direction of the Holy Spirit because we can't bring down anything. And once we, if we think we do, we're going to come down. Believe me, it is totally walking in the authority and what the legal right and what God has given us to do on this earth by his grace, by his mercy, and the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't uh, grow weary in well-doing. And if you're sick and ill, I want to pray for you right now. If you're watching this, God can bring down those spirits in you, those demons, those devils, those, those, those um, disease devils. I have had I've had something that going on for four years that God hasn't lifted, and I I have had creative miracle after creative miracle. But you know I keep going, I keep going, I keep praying, I dance sometimes in in worship. I I I I don't let what is real affect me, and I keep praying by faith. And God's grace is sufficient, but we keep we never stop praying in faith. We never stop because faith pleases God. He's going to come back for a church full of faith. And if you don't depend on the Lord, the door will be closed to you. If you don't trust in him, the door will be closed. You will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And I ask you and I plead with you today because the time is short. God has shown me in a revelation and a dream where the heavens were opened and angels in place. And he said, the end is soon. I'm coming back for my bride. He is coming back for the bride, my sweet friends. And I, I ask you to pray this prayer if you haven't done it. And then I'm going to pray for you quickly again for a healing in Jesus name. Lord, I ask you to Repeat after me. Lord, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to transform my mind, transform my being. Put the Holy Spirit in me as I ask you to forgive my sins. You paid the price for my sins. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you prayed that prayer, you have every reason to be jumping up and down and feeling a, a fresh presence, a fresh and feeling of what the Holy Spirit's done in your life, making you like a little child, forgiven of your sins, stripped of all the darkness, and I, I want to pray, and believe me, you still will. It takes time to grow in Jesus, so you'll fall and fail at times, but God will pick you up, and he will carry you through. It's about the heart. It's about your heart after God and wanting to do what's right. He paid the price for the sins on the cross, so if the grace is for you every step of the way. If you're in Pakistan, Dubai, or in India, or in uh, Sri Lanka or wherever you're at. I know I have a lot of Pakistani followers, so I'm hoping that some of you will see this and a lot of um, uh, people from the Middle East 
and I'm hoping that you will see this so that you'll know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and pray that prayer that I just prayed, and mean it with all your heart, and God will just do wonderful things for you, and I want to also uh, pray for your healing. I believe that Jesus wants us healed. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to have enough. He says he'll meet our needs. He'll meet your needs. That's a promise. I don't care where you are or what you're doing. If you're watching this, he'll meet your needs. He's met mine when I thought I had enough. I didn't know what I was going to do. He always meets my needs. I'm not talking about huge mansions. I'm talking about meeting needs and being able to give to others also. So let's pray right now for your healing because I believe that many bodies are are sick today and God wants to touch and go in. He says in his word over and over, I wish you to be in health and to prosper. I By his stripes, he paid the price for us to be healed on the cross along with taking our sins. So let's pray right now. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I go I go into these rooms of of of, of people that are uh watching this, whether it's a car or an office or a room or a plane, wherever it is. And God, we just pray that you will go in and just touch bodies by the blood of Jesus. We curse every disease, every sickness, every even creative miracles, Lord. I'm praying that you'll fall by your grace, by your power, by your might, and just touch bodies. God, bodies that are just torn inside, bodies that have been broken and hopeless and just fearful and uh, panic attacks and, and God, P PTSD and... Um, Lord, mental disorders, bipolar, Father, and I pray against cancer and lupus and um, all of the diseases, God, that will just take lives. I just especially pray for that right now, for fatal um, uh, terminal illnesses. I curse every demon that I curse it by the blood of Jesus, not anything in my power, God, by the blood of Jesus in bodies across this world, God. We, we, we pray that you will bring healing to the bones, healing to the brain, healing to the emotions, healing to every part of the body. And God, that People will call out to you and talk to you about everything, God, everything, and that you will start bringing hope and help and wellness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We speak it. We believe it. I believe it right now as you're watching. I believe that you're being healed by the blood of the lamb in Jesus name. And so if you prayed with me with faith, um, and I believe that even as I prayed for you, and maybe you have no faith, God will give you faith through the miracle that God does in your body. I don't know how we'll work because God is God, but we pray by faith and have, know that he, he moves when we pray. So blessings on your day. God bless you, everyone.